dancer with me We've got some you wanna see We're a family Food and stuff is where you wanna be We've got food and stuff back food and stuff is back we are bigger and better than ever yes, ready for are. season two y'all ain't ready for season two my name is jonathan lee and i am jasper lane pippen and we are your hosts we have got some great guests today we're gonna do a show about aloha say the pretty mm-hmm. girls opening next wednesday september 14th yes. running through the 17th yep. at the university of memphis mm-hmm. and we've got some great food sponsored by Ooh. jerry snow Cones. let's get to it What's up, everybody, and welcome to the season premiere of Food and Stuff. And today, we are introducing Kaylin Ingram and Diana Mosley are here with us today. Ooh, come on in, y'all. Okay. There we go. So, thank you guys for coming to Food and Stuff, the season premiere. Thank you for having us. We're super excited to have you guys here. I'm so excited. So, our food sponsor today is going to be Jerry Snow Cones. Jerry Snow Cones is like super, super popular place here in Memphis. They have some of the best snow cones ever. We'll try some of them a little bit later. But they also have some really cool food there, like some fair food and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, we have our season two food bringer honor. (laughs) Come on, So, what do we got for us today? We have a funnel cake. All right. Oh, sweet. Funnel that brings cake. me all the way back to the Renaissance Fair. You guys want to see the funnel cake? Looks like I can get it off. That was pretty oh good. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, good. so, I mean, how do y'all want to do this? Should we just dig in? Just yeah, rip it. Dig in. Okay, go ahead and rip it. Your guys go. Go. Okay. Are you going to have a Get in there. There we go. Shall I give me some? So. Everybody got a piece of their funnel cake. Okay. Yes. First question I would like to know is what do you guys think the show is about? It's a lot about um, <clears throat> connection between people and relationships and a lot about growth and change as people. <laughs> yeah, it's very, I want to say it's just a realist version of how people grow and change and how people can find their tribe in just this huge world of chaos and mm. everything that's going on, especially now. How people can just find their family and their connections throughout the world as they go on about their lives and how they grow into that. I love oh, yeah. that. Yeah, I love that. And it's good because we need to see that. Yes, Amen. absolutely. Yeah, I know. That's we need some more theater now. That's just... Bringing people together. Yeah. yeah. Not everything has to be so edgy. Yeah. So I'm really excited like to get to have like yeah. a fun show. Yeah, it's really, really fun. And I love that, you know, when we first started, we really didn't see the connections when we were reading the script. As we started to act it out yeah. and really go into it and dive deep into the script, we really saw how even people that haven't even seen or talked to each other have a huge connection yeah. in the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the funnel cakes were good. Thank you. Yeah. But I think cake. that now we have got, what is it, Dre? We have chili cheese fries. Oh, yes, sir. The chili cheese fries. That's the cheese fries. Okay. You take and this fries. is nachos. Let's Ooh. see. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's like got some, like, seasoning or something. It does have seasoning. Ooh, yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, like me. It's okay. Okay. So, I understand that Aloha to the Pretty Girls is not your typical show. Absolutely not. And that has a lot to do with, like, surrealist storytelling. Yes. It's like, I've heard that you guys do, like, a lot of ambient noises, like yes. trains, mm-hmm. and you all make your own animal sounds Absolutely. and stuff like that. So... Just, how has it been like creating a play here at the University of Memphis that looks different from a lot of the plays that we normally produce? Well, one of the main things about Aloha is it doesn't exactly have the most linear storytelling. It's so very it's like it, it's very much just each scene is a different story happening that's at a time. Okay. And that's been very interesting, but like and at first it was kind of confusing as we were getting into it. Mm-hmm. But then as you you get more into it, you start getting like, oh, it is still trying to do the same thing as regular shows Absolutely. do. Is it still trying to tell its story and it's still trying to tell its moral? And so mm-hmm. ultimately it's just the same. It's just got its own local. Because of like yeah. the context of the show and you know the rehearsals and how you 
everyone is a, like an ensemble show we yeah. talked about earlier. How did what's your process or how did you come about like learning the plot and like working it, through those little things? It took a very long time for us to understand yeah. the show. But just it's, the first table read. Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. We were asking so many questions and we were making I will never forget the memories that we had yeah. at the table read coming up with conspiracy theories that we had we were for the show. We were on our break, we on our break. We <laughs> ignored our break. It was like, no, here's my theory. What do you mean conspiracy theories? Like that we're in the Sims. <laughs> We're making this whole thing a Sims yeah. thing, or what? that we're like we're playing a video game, and like all these things that go into the show, like why I climb into a terrarium at 13 years old, and um, why I'm at the airport by myself. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a yes. lot that goes into it, but like it, it was so much fun. And Patrick was like, "It's not a show that you." have to try to make sense of just watch it and enjoy it and then you kind of understand yeah. the plot as you keep going. okay cool except it's like unfolding nonsense. it's like unfolding it it was except like, it, the nonsense except mm-hmm. the nonsense just embrace it yeah yes. so, that's life do you think the show like deserves like a second viewing absolutely yeah oh my god Always. i believe that you have to because especially because there's two uh seatings on the sides of the stage i feel like watching it on one side of the stage and then coming back and watching it on the other side you get yeah. a completely different perspective okay. of it. Cool. um because we split the stage in two worlds mm-hmm. so you know one side is hawaii one side is alaska so we're you know we're showing you guys different <sighs> sides <laughs> and it's really really fun yeah. to see but i really think that you should watch it twice just so you yeah. can try to make sense of it a little bit because there's a lot that goes into it. So I think that we've got the last piece of food that we've got. So it is Jerry Snow Cones, and we haven't had any snow cones. Mm. So I think it's time that we fix that. Okay? <laughs> Should we so bring hard. out the snow cones? <laughs> Back to Aloha. Yes. So could you all tell us maybe like something unique or unexpected that like the audience should a little sneak peek of something we can look forward to in the show. Well, um, the show is very hilarious, first of all. <laughs> um, there's a lot of different things that um, our director, Patrick, has added into the show to make it a little bit more funny. Just not just the dialogue, but like the actions that we do. Okay, yeah. I'll say, uh, get ready for animal noises. Yes. Yeah, I have been told. <laughs> I am excited to see what it looks like. I have a mean elephant impression. <laughs> okay. Very exciting. Should we get a sneak peek? Or should we wait? Let's wait. Should we wait? Let's, Let's wait. wait. Okay. Let's come see Let's wait. Uh, oh. Diana's elephant impression. Come see the show. You've got to come see Aloha, Say the Pretty Girls. <laughs> oh. It opens next Wednesday, September the 14th. September the 14th. Through the 17th. Through the 17th. Through the 17th. Through the 17th. And hopefully we'll see y'all there. See you there. See you there. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking around. We want to give another yes. big special round of applause for our special guests, Diana Mosley and Kaylin Ingram. Thank you guys so much. And make sure you guys tune in next week for Carnivita's episode on Food and Stuff. Mm-hmm. Again, be sure and check out Aloha to the Pretty Girls opening next Wednesday mm-hmm. here at the University of Memphis Studio Theater, September 14th through the 17th. We're going to have a link in the description yeah. below where you all can get tickets. Ooh. We'll see you all there. Bye-bye. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I know that. I know that. No, I'm. She's a celebrity. I was in a.